Okay, students, let's proceed to our next topic, the level of the lesson's objective. The low-level questions and the high-level questions. When we say low-level questions, they include memory questions or those that require simple recall. For example, define energy um, as state the first law of motion. Question is extend the inquiry desired. Under this is the convergent question and the convergent question. When we say convergent questions, they are questions that requires a single predictable answer. For example, of this is defining, stating, interpreting, and summarizing. Example question is when does lunar eclipse occur? When we say divergent question naman, they require the respondents to think different direction, to think an alternative action, or to arrive at own decision. Example of this question is, why are you voting him? Or what will happen if you leave it under the sunlight for a week? Type of question is guiding how to respond. Under this is rhetorical, informational, leading, and probing. When we say rhetorical, these are the questions that are often asked in a past paced and sometimes do not require an answer. Sample question is, aren't they smooth like silk? Or would you like to go to there someday? Under informational, these are the questions that require one to supply information. A sample question is, what forces keep a satellite in its orbit? When we say leading question naman, this question gives a clue to right answer. For example, based on the number of legs, which of them is an insect? Um, when we say probing question, these questions are that ask for application principles learned. For example, why it is classified as a third class lever? Proceed to questioning technique. Questioning is an integral part of teaching and learning. The teacher's questioning technique would depend on a number of interactions that occurs during and immediately after a question is asked. Following are some reminders on how to improve one's questioning. First, provide sufficient wait time. Wait time refers to a pause needed by a teacher after asking a question. This is the time when she waits for an answer. And there are things to consider when you are wait time. The level of difficulty of the question. Second, the type of response required. Letter number C, the background of the knowledge respondents possess. And letter D, the intellectual activity of the respondents. An average of 2 to 5 minutes sufficient for what questions and about 5 to 10 seconds for the why and how questions. Having sufficient wait time can achieve the following. Motivate slow thinking students to respond. Improve the quality of the responses made. Decreases the amount of guessing and the wrong inferences. Encourages the student to ask their own questions. Increases the number of correct responses, leads the teacher to vary her question, and provide time for the teachers to evaluate the answers given. The questioning technique is know your own style of questioning. Request a colleague to critique your own style as to letter A, kind of question often asked, B, amount of wait time provided, and letter C, the type of responses required. Knowing your errors in questioning would make it easy to affect the necessary changes too many what questions will be avoided. Based on repertoire of type questions, turning and employing divergent, high-level, and open-ended questions improves one questioning technique. Fully aware of the instructional objectives set for a particular lesson, a teacher would be able to frame more interesting and thought-provoking questions rather than memory types. One of the questioning technique is provide cues. Teachers are encouraged to provide immediate cues in order to save an unanswered question or an incomplete answer. It could be done by acknowledging the correct portion of the answer and calling attention to the wrong portion. You will also supply hints or tips and immediately asking another question to clarify the former 
and redirecting or refocusing. Let's also consider the individual abilities and interest of the students experiencing the success in the giving correct answers to promote a feeling of confidence among them. Select the brighter ones to respond the high-level questions. An approving nod, a smile, or a praise for an answer given will encourage them to volunteer own ideas. Good morning, everyone. Today, I will discuss about on how to encourage questions from students. We humans, especially children, are by nature curious. They have many questions about anything or everything. We as teachers can motivate or discourage them from asking questions. Teachers questioning technique. As we always say, teachers is a model. Her questions can serve as good. Examples. Teacher should encourage students to ask correct, relevant, and high-level questions. Always listen to their questions. Don't ignore irrelevant questions. Teacher should correct or clarify their questions and of course entertain them. Teacher should praise not only correctly formulated questions but as well as the behavior of the students in raising questions. It will boost their confidence and self-esteem. Always allot an appropriate time for open questioning. It is the time that you will know if they've learned all your lessons. We have also have guide questions for further discussions. Select this example of what questions that are useful. Example, do what are the important of asking questions? It is an interrogative sentence. We should think how can be the direct questions improved. Example, do you fold your pizza when you ate it? That is an example of direct questions. So, maybe the teacher should follow up another questions to make it higher thinking questions. The answers of the students are different from each other. So, how should you react if the answer given is a pure guess and do not meet your expectations? You should think about it. Encourage the students to ask higher thinking questions or intelligent questions, not only what questions. For elaborative learning, choose among your questions which are easy to elaborate. Advantages of asking convergent and divergent questions among the questions of what are easily answered and explain why. Before I finish, I will share to you this quote. Part of being successful is about asking questions and listening to the answers by Anne Barrel. And asking questions is the first way to begin things by Cobra said. That's all. Thank you.